Ain't that something? <laughs> hey, hello YouTube. This is uh, this is my, I reckon my first Lambo vlog. <laughs> but uh, all right, we got we got a nice car. We got to ride in the rain. Um. Not too hard of a rain. Yeah, it'll rain in paradise. But, uh, I'm gonna take you along for this, uh, ride in the rain. I'm trying to talk and drive in the rain at the same time. But, uh, this is a nice little girl. Beautiful car. This is a 2020 Hurricane Evo. It's the uh, evolution of the Huracan, and uh, it keeps pretty much most all the same features of the uh, Huracan, and uh, that's a few different ones. It's got a lot of the Performante features to it. So, let's get her opened up, and if I ride. Let's squeeze my big butt in there. Yeah. In my view, the uh, Huracan is uh, much more beautiful than the uh, Aventador. I love the Aventador. But there's just something about the Huracan. Okay, now I got my big butt squeezed in here. Uh, let's crank it up. I know it's a little bit dark, but uh, all right. Anybody that's familiar with the Lamborghinis, um, you have your push to start button here. You flip the protector, but um, right, let's hit the start. So I drive his uh, got a little hump down there, a bit of a hill coming up. All right, one, one of the features is neat about the uh, the Huracan, uh, or the Lamborghini is wow, the uh, RPMs your red line is set at 6,000. Uh, that gives time for oil to get hot and let all the oil to get all the parts of the engine and get it well lubed and warmed up enough so you don't do any damage before you get um, before you get on it. But once it gets to that temperature, the tack will go up to 8,000. Uh, and um, then you could go pretty good. Uh, the, the Evo has the uh, touch screen display for all your functions and all. And uh, it's real neat. If you're used to the Huracan, yeah, it takes forever to get used to the dial settings for the air conditioning and all that. And uh, um, this is simple once you study it a little bit. And pretty much uh, the AC, the AC's still kind of screwy. Freeze your butt off. Uh, or uh, burn you up either one, but with time you can um, you can figure it out. And uh, you have your reverse, your park brake. Um, that way I did start. <laughs> so you have your manual manual shift. I shift manual anyway. I like the way it sounds. Um, I think she's warmed up enough for us to uh, go for our little our little ride. Uh, I'm on the 
take the park brake off. You pull back up for your reverse. And you have a backup camera right on the main display. Yeah, you got the sensors all the way around. So we just sense around, uh, you know, the sensor picking up that, that, that. And uh, it's showing something on the rear, but the rear is just the corner of the garage. So it lets it ease out. Always rely on your mirrors too. Cause I hope I'm not gonna run over friggin' bushes over there. All right, now put it in first. You uh, pull the paddles. Your uh, upshift paddle. And uh, let me shut this garage door. All right, so we got her in first gear. Yeah, I don't know why, but it takes a little bit of time for um, for the backup camera to go off. So it's still in the back of the car while we're going forward. Right, that'd be pretty neat if you're hauling butt down some road. <laughs> the, uh, Rain's supposed to let up a little bit later, so I'll do a proper review on this car. The only thing I don't really, I don't really like is the smudges that get on this display. So if you carry a microfiber cloth around, you, know, you can swipe it off. I do like the forged carbon vents. Forged carbon handle. <laughs> Yeah, USB ports there. Cigarette though. There. Uh, Alright. Let's roll them down. This is tricky. Uh, it has front end sensors, ground clearance sensors under it. I'm just sensing right now. Alright, uh, we, got, we got the front end lifted. Yeah, that's actually censoring the friggin' edge of the edge of the road right there. On the older Huracan, it'll put up a little display of the front of the car right there, and uh, would show you uh, our spill not dragging. I think we got this. This is a two-wheel drive, it's 580 horse. So, I'd be real careful in the rain. I've never, all I've ever driven was the, uh, the four-wheel drive. Now, right, we got her in street mode, strata, street mode. Uh, put in sports, you can watch the uh, cluster change just a little bit. Now, this is what I really like. You go ahead and put it in Corsa mode. All right, it looks like the, um, it looks like the friggin' uh, SVJs. All right, we're gonna lower the front end. Put that down. Which, I don't know why it is with uh, Lamborghinis, the windows. If you wanna lower it, you push it up. If you wanna raise it, you pull it down. friend James is C8 over there. So, I'm about to pull out on the main road and uh, we have another growl just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this Lambo vlog. Um, please like, subscribe, and follow, and 
we'll be having the good Lord willing, we'll be having a lot more Lamborghinis in these videos. Maybe a Ferrari. We just have to see how everything goes. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is neat. Lamborghini Huracan Evo <laughs> seats. Seats are pretty comfortable once you get used to them. Um, it's all manual, but for a race car, a street race car. All right, YouTube, peace out.